Hey, welcome to So Awkward. It's me, Don. And I'm Jester. And today we're going to listen to the new James Bond theme song, The Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. I'm very excited. I don't care. <laughs> Freddy Krueger saying, hi! Have you ever seen a James Bond film? Nope. I've seen all of them a thousand times. I'm a big James Bond fan. The song just came out today. Yeah, we've done other reaction videos, but this one, I mean, this is not this is a me one. Like, I picked this one. Right. I have not listened to it. Okay. Sam Smith is quite a diva. Yeah. It's Samantha it's... Smith, right? It's a woman. Just kidding. Quite uh, is that a falsetto? A, quite a range. Yeah. The guy can sing. I, the only song, I mean, he had that song, uh, was that um, Stay With Me? I don't know. You've told me about this. I. It was a big hit. It was on the radio. I think it won like Grammys. Okay. That's the, all I know of him. It was very similar to this in that very beautiful vocals. I would call this song slightly repetitive. Sure. He's Are, very popular, though. Is he? I think so. I think when it was announced that he was the guy, the reaction was mixed. It ranged from, oh, that's a great choice, to who? It was very beautiful. Does this say James Bond to you? It's sort of. I mean, it started out with the typical like James Bond, like the uh -huh. horns, but then it just kind of went to it. Almost sounded acoustic. But yeah, I mean, it had a James Bond vibe to it, but not quite as James Bondy as I was expecting. I didn't like it. I. <sighs> Sorry. No, that's fine. I didn't love it, but I also the first time I heard. Um, Another Day to Die. Another Way to Die. What's it called? The theme song to Quantum of Solace. I hated it, but now it's one of my favorites. The first time I heard Skyfall by Adele, I thought it was kind of boring, but now I think it's great. So I think with the Bond songs, they're so... I mean, I'm sure that Sam Smith has seen more of the film than we have. I think... Part of the magic of a Bond song is is they play it at the beginning of the film where they have like really awesome visuals and stuff. Like they always have like really cool intros. And I think for like a movie song with Bond songs especially, I'll get to my point if I can think of what my point is. <laughs> is that part of the magic of the song is that they usually fit with the film. And if it's a good film then nostalgia makes you like the song better. I mean, there are those certain Bond songs that just by themselves are awesome songs, like Live and Let Die by Paul McCartney and Wings, View to a Kill, Goldfinger. I found it slightly boring. I thought it was beautiful, but slightly boring. I agree. But, I mean, the, the guy can sing. Very few uh, male Solo stars have done Bond songs. But, I don't know. I didn't love it. But it was... I'm I'm still excited to see the film. It's called The Writings on the Wall, even though the movie is called Spectre. There are... Usually, the, the Bond songs have uh, the same title as the film. But there are exceptions. You, like some like, film like Octopussy. That's a movie. They, the song is an all-time high because they didn't want to have a song called Octopussy. How could you sing it? You're, or Quantum of Solace, awful title. And they realized that, so that's why the, the song is, I think it's called Another Day to Die, Another Way to Die. I can't remember. 
But Spectre, that would be an awesome title for a song. Because Spectre is the organization that's from the old school Sean Connery films. But then, because there was, which I won't explain it, but there was a lawsuit between the writer of the novel and uh, a guy who, a producer of some of the movies, so they couldn't use Spectre anymore. Or his character Blofeld. So it's a big deal that now the lawsuit has been resolved like 30, 40 years later. So I don't know. I think the song should be called Spectre. But that's just me. And the song should have a little more. I'm a big fan of the rock songs. Like the your Duran Duran's, your Aha. Uh-huh, I like that one a lot. I've got a whole video where I rank all of the James Bond theme songs. Check it out. I'll put a link somewhere. Um. I don't know where I would put this. I would obviously need to wait till I saw the film, but it wouldn't be in the top 10. I, don't, I think there's like 24, 25. I don't even remember how many Bond songs there are. That's our reaction video, <laughs> which is really just two people listening to a song and then talking. Are we even talking about the song? Okay, that. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>